thanks for joining me. I am Bev from Inkwell and I am going to show you today how to make some uh, little lanterns. Now for today's session you are going to need some lolly sticks. Um, we bought these from the craft shop but you could be saving them from all the lovely ice lollies you've been eating. Um, you're going to need 16 of these sticks. Um, you're also going to need either some tracing paper or um, I've got tissue paper here. Um, I didn't have any tracing paper. Um, the only thing with tissue paper is it tends to be a bit thin. Um, so you might um, come into a little bit of difficulty if you decide to use felt tip pens to draw your pictures on. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Um, so you're going to need something to colour with to draw some lovely pictures um, so I've got pencil crayons here and I've got felt tips um, I also used um, a black pen for some of my pictures um, you're also going to need a piece of card for the base of your lamp um, this is just um, a cereal packet um, but whatever you can find um, you're going to need some glue as well, either PVA or a glue gun. I've got a glue gun here. Obviously, if you're going to use a glue gun, um, then you might need an adult to help you with this one, just because they get a bit hot. Um, you're also going to need some scissors as well. Um, again, maybe you need to get a little bit of help from an adult when it comes to using those. Um, and for then the the end product, you'll either need some fairy lights or some of the little um, battery powered tea lights. Um, okay, so first things first, you're going to need to make four squares like this with your popsicle sticks, um, lollipop sticks, whatever you want to call them. So I've got four lollipop sticks here, um, and you just want to bob a bit of glue on. Um, you're gonna you don't want to make a square, so you you're gonna want something like this. So I've got those two on there, and then I'm just gonna turn it over and pop my other one on the end here. Now you can use the PVA glue for this; it does take a little bit longer to dry. Um, and I need to be fast always because I'm impatient. <laughs> so, um, you're going to build four of those and then you're going to cut your tissue paper to around about the size of those. You don't need to be too um, perfect with this right now because you can always trim it down with some scissors afterwards. Um, so, you're going to want to draw a design then on here. Now this is where I usually have the most fun. So I've looked at different styles of art. This is a mandala based art piece. Um, I drew inspiration from Polish folk art with this one. Um, and then I've done another one here. This is sort of Kandinsky stroke Memphis art movement inspired um, so um, with this one I just used colouring crayons and a black pen um, I used a pencil to draw a few circles so that I knew where my bits were going to go within the mandala um, with this one I used felt tip pen I did find it a bit difficult if you press too hard with the tissue paper with the felt tip pen and go over the same place you'll end up punching little holes um, into the tissue paper. Um, so if you do want to use felt tip pens and you can get hold of some tracing paper then that's going to be best for you. Um, I did manage with this one though. Um, so I've just used felt tip, um, drawn various shapes and then gone over the top with some pen. So for this part I just used PVA glue. This tissue paper sticks on nice and easily with it 
don't need anything heavy like the glue gun for this part. So I'm just smooching that in there. I don't mind using my fingers, but if you've got a, a brush or a, a glue spreader, then feel free to use those. So it's just a matter of pressing it on really gently. You don't want to press it on too much if you're using the tissue paper because you don't want it tearing. Okay, so I've got my four sides and I've also got my base. Um, and so what you want to do is stick your sides to your base or at least one side first. Um, I'm going to use the glue gun for this. Um, it tends to be a bit stronger when it comes to holding it. So I have glued all the sides now together. I've also glued it to the cardboard at the bottom. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before actually that the cardboard square needs to be cut the same size as the size of your sides where your popsicle sticks are glued together. Um, now if you want this super secure then you could put some cardboard braces in in the corners. Um, I will just show you an example now of a cardboard brace. So basically just some more cardboard from my cereal box. Um, you want to cut a little strip and then fold it in half and then you'll want to put a little bit of glue on each side then and then that folded piece then um, wherever you want to brace I'm going to brace this corner here um, you just pop that in there then you can see it here um, and that just makes sure that it's firmly stuck together so you can go ahead and do that on all your corners if you choose to um, and then what you need to do then is get your lights so I've got some fairy lights here um, and they simply just go into the box and there you have it, a beautiful lantern displaying your artwork. So I hope you've enjoyed today's craft session. Please do send us any pictures in of any crafts that you've been doing. Um, we'd love to see what you've been up to um, and hopefully you'll join us again soon. Alright, take care. Bye.